Hey guys, it's Techran here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to vertical stream to YouTube. That is right. If you guys do not know, YouTube just dropped an update here today where if you vertical stream to the platform, it'll get pushed into the YouTube Shorts feed. Now, if you guys do not know what I mean by that, it means the Shorts feed where you watch YouTube Shorts. And with those things, they're very fast paced and quick. So people can be flicking through multiple Shorts that your stream might just pop up in the process, which can lead to higher viewership than normally streaming horizontal on YouTube. So I want to show you guys how to utilize this here today and how to set it on up. So let's get into it. First thing I want you to do is download OBS Studio. I of course have a link to it down below so that way you can download it for yourself. But once you're on this page, what you want to do is click on Windows if you're on Windows and actually install it onto your computer. Once you downloaded OBS Studio, the next thing I want you to do is actually download the Atom Vertical plugin, which of course will also have this link down below. And what you want to do is click on other platforms, look for Windows or whatever platform you're using, and you want to click that and then it's going to download onto your computer. And what you're going to do here is make sure they have OBS open. And then what you want to do is go into your file explorer, go under downloads, which you can see here. You want to see the vertical plugin. We want to open this on up. And we just want to install this onto our computer. Now that's installed, what we need to do is just close OBS Studio. Then we're going to reopen up OBS. Now that you have the vertical plugin installed, you'll see it on the right side here. What you want to do is actually set this on up. So the first thing we're going to do is set up actually our scenes and sources. So we have a scene here. We're just going to make this the default one. And what we're going to do is right click in here, click add. And what we want to add is actually a display capture. What we're going to do is add this display capture to capture our gameplay on our computer. And that way we have an access to it. So I have only a single monitor set up here. So we're going to add that. We're just going to drag this around however we like. We can just place it in the center here, which looks pretty good. So what we're going to do next is add our camera or webcam. What we're going to do is go into vertical sources again, click on the plus icon, add a new video capture device. And we're of course going to add our capture card. You can see this is my capture card with my camera. Of course, you just add your webcam. You have a webcam. And what we're going to do is just click OK and add that like so and just drag this around. Now, make sure to have your camera on the top here, and your display capture at the bottom because it's like a burger. If you drag your uh, made on top of your bun uh, and then you move this around, of course, it's going to get in the way. So just make sure they have like perfectly organized so it doesn't like get blocked off for some reason. And the next thing we're going to do is add actually some widgets. So we're going to do is click on add browser source here and we're going to click on add a new one, of course. And we're going to go to Botrix Live. So I will, of course, have Botrix Live linked down below. And what you're going to do here is just log into your YouTube. Once you're logged into your YouTube, we want to go under alerts. But it's going to be your alert link, which you can see here. You can customize them however you want. We're just going to copy this for the time being. And what we're going to do is go into, of course, our browser. We're going to paste that link in here with Control V. And we're going to make it 600 by 600. And now if we test it, it should just work. Look at subscriptions. Okay, it works perfect. And what I do is just going to drag this around like so. Put it dead in the center so that way when alerts do go off, it'll perfectly be centered. Now, before you go live with this plugin, I would recommend setting up some more scenes and OBS. So that way you can have just like a face cam scene and a gameplay face cam. So that way you have that set up. looks very professional, but you can take it a step further and right click on this and link it up with actually a scene in your normal OBS. So I have a scene where it's called gameplay, a gaming PC, which is of course going to have my face cam and gameplay. So if I was to actually set this on up, I can actually link it together with that. So now, for example here, if I was to click on the gameplay, which is my face cam gameplay, it's going to do the same thing in the vertical plugin. It's going to change it to the exact same thing. It looks the same on both sides, which is pretty cool. I got to quickly say, so you can see right here, link to both sides. So when I switch it to gameplay, I have my face game and gameplay. Same thing with the vertical thing I would recommend definitely set on up. Next thing you're going to do is go into your settings and the vertical plugin. And you're going to customize this. Make sure it's on 1080 by 1920. And of course, this is reverse of 1920 by 1080. So this is for vertical. If it was, of course, the opposite way around, it'd be horizontal footage. So just make sure it's like that. And then the next thing you do is go to streaming. And what you want to do is make sure to say use main OBS settings because this will use whatever your OBS settings are. So if you have your settings up for Twitch or Kick, of course, use those settings, but it won't actually affect the resolution setting, which is a completely different thing. I'm going to quickly show you guys the best settings for streaming, though, to Twitch and Kick. And of course, these settings will affect the actual vertical plugin, which will make it look super crisp. So make sure it's on these settings. Make sure your encoder is whatever your GPU is. Mine's NVENC. And of course, don't mess with the actual output scaling. Just leave that unchecked. Make sure it's CBR, 6000 bit rate. And of course, you can just look at the pause screen right now and look at the rest of these. But make sure your actual OBS settings are default to this. So that way, the vertical plugin just grabs from this. Now that we have our alerts, gameplay, and webcam all set up, we of course can set up our stream key. So what we're going to do is go into our settings. When our settings, you're going to go to streaming. And what you want to go to is YouTube. So in YouTube, what you're going to do here is go to go live. And you want to find your stream key in your URL. So you can see here, you can see your stream key here. What we do is copy this. So we want to go into, of course, our settings under the plugin, go under stream key, and we want to paste our stream key like so. 
And then what we want to do is go back there and go to our URL, copy the stream URL, to copy that and paste this on into the server. And with that, we're all good to go to go live. But now that you have that, we can click go live. We can now see we're live on YouTube. So if we were to actually now click publish and actually go into here, click make this public. And now if we go to our phone, we are now vertically streaming on YouTube and looks pretty cool. I wouldn't recommend adding a chat though because the chat fills up pretty fast if you're already streaming there, so it doesn't really make a difference. But this still looks very, very good. If you guys did find this video helpful though, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so I miss some future tech content. Of course, if you guys do want more help with OBS setting up for streaming to Twitch, I recommend checking out this video over here. This is the video best for you. I'll see you guys for another one on G-Man out.